Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And this is July's Bundle Box. A bunch of graphics that I made throughout the month of July and are now available for you guys to use for your print and demand journey or printables. Commercial use as is a bunch of stuff, whether it's patterns, seamless patterns, different ratios, different clip art in PNG transparent backgrounds, and of course, the winners of the contests that were on our Facebook community for the last month. So for those of you who don't know, we have a really cool Facebook community on, well, Facebook. And I ran three contests throughout this month, testing out people's creativity. And the winners of each and every one of these contests are going to get the bundle box of today for free. And the rest of you are going to have to pay for it if you want it. But don't worry, it's something like $5. It's a very symbolic amount to get the bundle box used for commercial purposes. No membership. You don't need to rebuy this every month. And it's also a nice way to support the channel if you want to. And I would love to quickly go over with you guys about what's in this month's bundle box and then announce the winners of the contests, which one of the contests I didn't choose a winner, but a viewer of this channel did. I don't know if you've seen my monthly goals video that was just a few minutes ago, but I was mentioning the Wondering Hearts. Those are Michelle and Joelle from the United States that are currently in Bansko. And Michelle is starting her print on man journey in a really unique way. And I really like her designs. And she is the one who chose the winner of one of the contests. And she didn't know which one applied what. It was all uh, very hush hush. I just showed her the designs without names, so she's unbiased. And more on that as this video unfolds. But let's quickly go through what's in this month's bundle box, some of the things that I've been working on. So, July bundle box starts with this ladybug. <laughs> I love ladybugs. I don't know why it took me so long to start making them. And yes, this ladybug was made with a stamp, which is a part of my stamp brushes that is on a different bundle box for Procreate users. There was a full tutorial about using different brushes for Procreate or generally using Procreate for print on demand. And the bundle of Procreate brushes, stamp brushes and pattern brushes is still available for sale on matrap.com. But moving on to the first thing that's going to be on the bundle box is, well, six crazy circles. That's how I call them. These are seamless patterns, 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. I kind of really like them. It took me a while to make some of them. I was really playing around with the colors and a lot of them are from color palettes that I made uh, from the inspiration from Greece video. So that was kind of nice. There are also 11, I call it divided paper pieces that are 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. Those are various different backgrounds that are either gradient or divided in the middle or in some point of the design to create interesting designs. They can also be duplicated with a mirroring effect to turn them into a seamless pattern or using them, as you can see here with the word love, inserting these backgrounds into frame elements that are actually letters on Canva. I think there was a very old video in this channel where I talked about this. If you want me to make a newer one just to show this bit around or maybe some more tips and tricks on how to use Canva, please let me know in the comment section down below. As I said, there are 11 of those. So we saw three of those here and we have five more of those in here and three more in here. Uh, as you can see, that little splash in blue, I just duplicated and mirror it. So it's kind of reflecting on itself and creating a seamless pattern. You also gonna get four ladybugs graphics that are PNG with transparent backgrounds, 3400 by 2700 pixels approximately in these four colors, as well as three ladybug seamless patterns that were made while thinking about Zazzle wrapping paper, which is 5400 by 4500 pixels. Now, if I will take a one by one ratio seamless pattern and try to duplicate it within a Zazzle wrapping paper roll, it's not really gonna work. There was a full tutorial on that. However, if you take this seamless pattern, for example, to a website like Redbubble and multiply it, it's not gonna matter that it's not a one by one ratio. It's actually might even make a really nice greeting card uh, and a really nice poster with these dimensions. So this is, a, I think, a more useful type of pattern to hit more different types of products. I also did some liquify effects with liquid hearts. Those are around 
3800 by 3600 pixels with transparent background as well as some circle frames with some liquid art in them. I thought they could be really nice if you're doing any kind of labels. So those could be the exterior and then something written inside, but you know, go nuts, do whatever you want with them. There are also a couple of 5,000 pixel by 5,000 pixels leaves pattern. I think I literally made one of them throughout the Procreate tutorial. Again, they are made with my own Procreate stamp brushes. I also made <laughs> pled gears. This was so much fun to make them. They're a little under 3000 pixels each with transparent background. And as you can see, there are four colors here, but I also took them and made patterns from them, manipulated the colors a bit and created three deer patterns that you can use maybe for Christmas. There will be a separate Christmas bundle box that is going to be epic i'm so looking forward to making christmas designs all august because that's what happens when you do for man you have to think ahead a few months but i thought why not get started with some deers i also made four plaid patterns that are completely seamless 4000 by 4000 pixels in these like pastel colors it's kind of trippy i kind of like them i can definitely see them going for nurseries or even for things like notebooks or pillows or any type of product. Then I played around with rainbows again from one of my Procreate stamps, colored my rainbow in three different types. So those are PNG files that are around 35 by 3500 pixels, like 3500 by 3500 pixels. And they're like leaning from side to side, but also created another 3500 pixel one by one ratio pattern from these rainbows. It's actually kind of cool. I think it's one of my favorite things. We also have weird shapes. <laughs> That's how I like to call it. It's kind of like a diamond with an eye in it. I have no idea. I was playing around with Procreate. I really like when I made it. So it's three different types of color variations and they are 3600 by 3600 pixels seamless pattern. So they can duplicate themselves. Another pattern that I thought would be cool is again, made for the pattern fitting Zazzle, but also fitting everything else. So 5400 by 4500 pixels. And that's a bit of a diamond. I call it diamond wrapping as well as made you guys some sweet stamps. That's how I like to call them. They don't actually have the stamp around them. These are just uh, four really cool pastries that are roughly around 3,800 by 3,200 pixels PNG with transparent background. They look delicious. And from these graphics and patterns, I kind of went into place. I did a few mock-ups. So you can see this woman with this like cookie <laughs> on her hoodie as well as two tumblers and wrapped with the seamless patterns as well as the shower curtain. So I thought, you know, just to get your creative juices going as to what you can do with these graphics and patterns. All of these are in the bundle box of the month of July, available on maytribe.com. There will be a link to the bundle boxes down below. It's only $5 with a lifetime license for commercial use as is for print on demand. And you can combine them within your printables. However, as I said, winners of three contests will not be paying for the bundle box because they will be getting the bundle box for free. The winners of the bundle box, as I know that you're all on Facebook, since we are literally on the same Facebook group, please message me on Facebook, send me your email so I can email you the content of the bundle box for free. It is kind of heavy, so I might have to do several emails or just drop it off as zip files on Facebook, but please do email me after this video so I can send it to you guys. I'm letting you know in advance, I might do that tomorrow because I have no idea when you're watching this video, so I might be asleep. And coming up to the first contest, which was to design a sock. Still makes me laugh. So I gave you guys a freebie that includes these pages of blank print on demand products just to draw by hand. So I was like, hey, just draw me a sock. So picking the winner of this contest was really easy because only Alex Elliott participated. <laughs> so Alex, you're getting the bundle box for free with your abstract block sock. I like how you said that the dryer ate the other one. It happens a lot here. Um, even though I don't have a dryer, so we hang our clothes on the rack outside and then the wind just takes a bunch of our stuff away. The second contest was a bit different. It was all about getting inspired from things around you, taking a photo and thinking, what does that inspire me to do? It's basically what I've been doing with my Scopia inspiration video, with my new Vlasna Gris inspiration video. And I really wanted something that will inspire me to do a design. So the winner of that contest 
is not only going to get the bundle box for free, they're also going to get the designs that I did for their exclusive usage. So, so many of you commented so many inspiring photos when it comes to ki kids eating ice cream and dogs and skating. However, as I said, this would have been what got me to want to draw. And I was literally doing this this morning. I think it was like six o'clock in the morning. I was completely drained of energy and I was like, you know what? Now is the perfect time because if something is going to make me go like, I can be productive, then they deserve the bundle box for free. And that person is, dun, 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 I don't know how to do a drum roll. <laughs> I'm not even going to put it in the bloopers. This can be in the edit. The winner of contest number two, which is inspiration from photos is Christina. I don't, Kadeziela. I'm, I'm really bad at reading your name. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but she posted a bunch of photos of peacocks while visiting her parents in Poland. <laughs> and it just struck me because I used to paint and draw peacocks like six years ago. And so I did something a bit weird. The first thing I did was to draw sort of one of their eyes or whatever it's called. And then I made a pattern from that. And then I sort of drew behind it with some more colors. Obviously it doesn't look like a peacock that much, but this is what inspired me. So Christina, you're getting the bundle box for free as well as these files, which you can do whatever you want with them. Moving on to the last contest, which was to create a pattern from a hobby. And I think that came up obviously when I did the Zazzle wrapping paper video, but it can be also a pattern for pretty much anything. So you guys did show me this on a Zazzle wrapping paper, which was kind of cool. And as you can see here on the screen, these are the wrapping papers that were in the group. And the reason why there are no names next to them or no comment next to them is because I literally put this photo on my iPad and gave it to Michelle Hartz from the Wondering Hearts, which are here in Bansko, and she chose the winner of this contest. Before we get to the third winner of the third contest, I would like to just politely ask you that if you like this video and found this content useful, please hit the like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. So let's uh, stop here for a second and go back in time to yesterday when Michelle chose the winner of this hobby pattern contest. Hi, Michelle. What you doing there? <laughs> right, trying to pick out a winner. Okay. Well, tell me what you think about the designs and people are gonna okay. see them in the screen right next to you while you talk about them. I like the bowling the bowling theme. I think it's super cute. Uh, I like the colors on it. I guess it's more kind of like winter themed to me. So I like that. Okay, the gardening. I really like the gardening one. <laughs> I like all the placement. It's very cute. Got the bees. I'll have to think about that. Okay, so there's two, two bees. Um, I like this one with the purple on it. The purple, the yellow. I like the color combination. I like this one. I'm a keeper. Super cute. I like the color combination as well with the gray, the yellow, the white. Okay, camping. Um, yeah, I like this one too. No, seriously. Do you like the sound, Michelle? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go camping okay. again. Okay, camping. Um, <laughs> oh my god. All right, camping. Camping theme. Uh, yeah, like this one. It's kind of creative. I like the, the camping theme for it. It's, it's something a little bit different. Um, I like the colors again. Green, orange. Okay, this one I'm not quite sure what it is has accepted rejected i feel like it's kind of like a travel like maybe stamp theme i like it uh it says top secret on it so yeah that one's that one's a bit different um okay baking cooking 
I like the the pink in the background. It's cute. It's fun, playful. Okay. Oh, and the snails. The snails are really fun. So there's three different designs for the snails. Uh, I like the snails. I think they're they're different. It's kind of it's playful. It's fun. I love the colors um, they chose the green the pink and the purple okay so looking at all of these uh hobbies now you don't have to choose based just on your hobby you can also choose based on what do you think makes good wrapping paper or choose mm. based on what is a good pattern for anything else it's very vague and all the pressure is on you <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh they're all really really good like i i actually like i like all of them i think they're all really well designed um, all the color patterns are great. Yeah, but there can only be one winner to get the bundle. Yeah. You know what? Do you want two winners? I'm giving you two can winners. Can I do two? Yes, you can do okay. two winners okay. and they're going to get, both of them are going to get the bundle box. So four right. winners in total this month. Okay. I'm going to do two. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm a keeper. It's just, yeah, I just, I like it. It's, it's cute. It's adorable. And I'm going to go with the snails. I like the snail. Uh, I think it's it's really fun. It's different. You don't see like snails a lot, or at least I don't. Um, I think they're very well executed yes. snails. Yeah, they are. They're very well executed. Like I said, I like the colors, the pattern, uh, and it's just fun. So we have I'm a keeper and yeah. the snails yep. who will receive the bundle box for free. And let's get back to me. Say goodbye, Michelle. Bye. So we can continue <laughs> announcing the winners of the July bundle box. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. So as you can see, Michelle chose two contest winners, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And the winners are Becky Mars Hunter with Alma Keeper and Suzanne Feidy with the snails pattern. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing your names correctly. Please message me on Facebook to get the bundle box for free. And I I'm really enjoying this. There will be more contests in the month of August. I plan to do two contests with two winners. Uh, of each contest so four people in total will get the bundle box for free and i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below what do you want to see in the bundle box do you want to see more appropriate stuff do you want to see my fonts do you want to see things for halloween things for christmas um what is your favorite color just comment down below what would you like to see in the next month bundle box there's not much more that I want to say. I apologize that this was not run through a live premiere, as I said in the video for the goals. This has been a very emotionally draining month, and I still have to deal with a lot of emotionally draining things. And I do, I do so much. Thank you for the support. I apologize for not being as active on the group as I want to be. I hope that I will be able to change it this month, as well as not being that much active with replying to comments in time, which I promise I'll do because I really do love you so much. I, I wish you guys knew how much uh, of a special place you have in my heart. And I really do feel this community on a daily basis. You guys rock. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Link to the bundle box down below. Message me contest winners on Facebook for your free bundle box. Have an amazing month of August and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.